Hey folks, it's Mike with Backyard Air Guns. I'm here today to do one thing. Short video, and the purpose of the video is to say thank you. Uh, this past week, Thursday, well today's uh, Saturday, uh, December 30th. Two days ago on Thursday, I reached a thousand subscribers. It's been a big goal of mine to, to hit that thousand subscribers uh, by the end of the year, and uh, with your help, we did it. And I just wanna say thank you. That's the whole purpose of this video, is to say a big thank you to all the viewers and followers out there of the uh, Backyard Air Guns. So let me just give you a, a recap, short recap. Again, this video is gonna be short um, of what we did and what we're gonna plan to do in 2024. As far as what we did in 2023, um, the first video I put out was on the AEA uh, Challenger Pro and 22 Cal. First video shot on January 14th after work, shot it, came back and edited it and published it that morning. Um, and um, the second one was a follow-up to it that went viral, like 35,000 views. That was video one and two. Um, and since then, we put out uh, 26 total videos this year. Uh, as far as number of views, uh, we've got 116,000 views on those 26 videos that we put out this year. 6,000 hours uh, uh, have, have been spent watching the videos. Again, I just want to say thank you to the folks that, uh, that have watched, uh, watched these videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I, I really, really appreciate it. Some of the products that we covered in these videos are AEA, AEA air guns, FX air guns, um, Gamo air, air guns, Sabre tactical products, Tony FL products, um, One Leaf scopes, um, Pellet Shop, uh, Bentac LLC are just some of the, the products and uh, rifles and uh, vendors that, that we've dealt with this past year. This past year, I was able to go to the Pyramid Cup in Ohio in uh, August. Um, had a really great time at that. I got a video out that, that, that covers my performance there. I did the 100-yard uh, bench rest and the Gunslinger. 100-yard uh, bench rest as a rookie, I think I held my own. Didn't make, make it to the championship uh, shootout on Saturday. Missed that by, I think, six, five or six shooters. Um, ended up finishing seventh out of 42 on my first card, which was certainly put me in, but I kind of lost it on the second card. But uh, again, held my own at the bench rest. Certainly did a lot of practicing at the range for that. Um, and then the, the Gunslinger had a great time, but got my butt, butt kicked on a Gunslinger and I uh, ended up losing twice in that. But uh, learned a lot and I plan to compete a little better than that uh, this year in 2024. So I plan on this year attending the RBAC, which is like one of the biggest shooting competitions in the world. And also the Pyramid Cup. I'll be at the Pyramid Cup every year. That's such a, such a great event to go to. All right, plans for 2024. Plan to review many more brands of, uh, of air rifles, air pistols um, that, that expand out, again, much more than what I did in 2023. Both low-end, middle, mid-range, and high-end uh, rifles. So I'm going to bring in a lot more brands in, 20, in 2024 for uh, reviews. I'm going to start a new series called Backyard Friendly PCP Rifles, where I review rifles, PCP rifles, that are inexpensive, backyard friendly, and accurate uh, for the backyard. So I'm gonna start that series here next. Uh, let me just, I got four guns here in here that I'm gonna uh, do first. Uh, first one's gonna be the old reliable Air Venturi um, Bullpup. This is like a $300 gun, I think 329 Pyramid Air, you can, you can have this gun. Uh, it's a great gun. I've had it for a while, just haven't got around to doing a review on it. So that'll be probably the first in the lineup. I picked this up. This is a Hatson Jet 2. This is a little pistol, PCP pistol, that's um, that's really fun too. Very, very inexpensive. Uh, I got this the other day. This is my first Air Force gun. I've been trying to figure out uh, why these Air Force guns are so powerful. I think I get it now. They're unregulated, so when you when you fire the the trigger, everything, all the pressure in this is pushed behind that pellet. Um, this little 25 cal puts out about 80 foot pounds of energy. This is a little rocket right here. It's light as hell too. So that's gonna be in the lineup. Here's a PCP um, Gamo Urban, a great little PCP rifle. So this is just some of the rifles I wanna put in that backyard friendly series uh, that'll be coming up next. And then um, finally, I've been pursuing all year, <laughs> you probably watched my penetration test, <laughs> a PCP rifle that'll shoot through 16 gauge 
plate steel and um, everything has failed. I mean, everything put a huge dent almost through this, but I haven't found, well, until recently, I haven't found a PCP rifle that'll penetrate a uh, 16 gauge plate steel. I'm happy to inform you, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I got a rifle that'll blow through 16 gauge plate steel like it was butter. Uh, here's an example. I'm not gonna expose the rifle yet. I'm sure some of you probably can, can guess what it is. It's um, it's in the 357 model. So uh, that video is coming out shortly to, to expose what this, what this rifle is. Um, that same rifle, That same rifle will shoot through eight inches of two by fours. So again, I don't know of any, <laughs> I don't know of any air rifle that will shoot through eight inches of two by four. I, I found one that'll do it easily. So again, that's uh, that's some of the things we plan on doing in uh, in 2024. But I just want to say thank you again. Really appreciate all the all the support out there, and uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks, folks. Thank you.